Kerala, the land of infinite beauty and cultural diversity. Summer is the time of festivity. Thousands gather at temples to pay obeisance and listen to the music of the drums and the trumpets. The majestic elephants bedecked in gold add grandeur to the scene. Kerala is also home to the Indian wild elephant. Where else can you see them so close as here in Periyar Tiger Reserve, one of the best protected areas of the country? Take a boat ride through the famous Periyar Lake. If the season is right, you are sure to see herds of elephants. God, Samba deer and wild dogs. The really lucky ones get glimpses of some of the rarest scenes. Wild dogs preying on Samba fawn. Tiger feasting. A black panther jumping across. The forests around the lake are thousands of years old, but not so the lake. It was formed when the Mulla Periyar Dam was constructed in 1895 across the Periyar to nourish the fallow plains of Tamil Nadu. At the top of a grassy mountain on the eastern flank of the sanctuary stands the ruins of the Mangala Devi Temple. Silent testimony to a war fought between the local Punyar king and Tipu, the Sultan of Mysore, in 1770. Elephants are the biggest of all land mammals. They feed on different types of grasses, herbs, shoots and foliage of bamboo. They do not chew the cud like deer and gore. Instead, they eat it slowly, chewing it even as we do. They spend a lot of time foraging. As a matter of fact, three-fourths of its entire life is spent in feeding. Watch the elephant curl the tip of its trunk around a clump of grass. The sheaf is pulled out, roots and all. Yuck! Who would like to spoil the succulent taste of grass with debris? The amazing trunk expertly dusts off the mud on a bent knee before transferring the food to its ever busy mouth. The elephant's trunk is indeed its most amazing appendage. No other animal has such a wonderful nose. A nose so long, so strong. So supple and so useful. It is the spout through which the elephant draws up water to drink and to bathe. It also sprays mud over its body as an afterbath talcum. With its trunk, the elephant can pick up tiny objects or tear apart larger ones. 
It helps the animal to feel the ground below and above all to smell and sniff out possible sources of danger. A hundred and fifty thousand muscles go into the makeup of an elephant's trunk. No wonder then that it has such a wide range of capabilities. The enormous fan-like ears of the elephant flap constantly to bring down its body temperature. The network of veins in the ears assist in this process. In less than 20 minutes, the entire blood in an elephant's body passes through the veins. An elephant herd is made up of several family groups. Strong bonds formed in childhood carry on through the adult stage into maturity. Besides mama, an older sibling, aunts and other females in the herd pitch in to protect the baby elephant. Tigers relish elephant meat and try to attack young calves when the adults are less watchful. But generally, the tiger's attempts are foiled thanks to the constant vigil of the herd. The Piriyar Tiger Reserve has many swampy areas or wilds. These are the stomping grounds of gore, often wrongly called the Indian bison. The gore with its unmistakable stockinged feet is the largest bovine in the world. An adult can easily weigh more than a ton. Sambar, the largest deer in India, can be seen in large numbers here. The ideal prey-predator ratio keeps the population at a healthy number. Besides the tiger, the wild dog is the main predator in the reserve. Wild dogs hunt in packs and are among the most successful hunters. Once a prey is marked, the dogs chase it until it is exhausted. Often the final ambush takes place in water. You have to be a keen observer to see the graceful barking deer. It frequents the area around the boat landing. Hush! Listen! 
Was that the bark of the deer after which it gets its name? Four out of the five primates found in the Western Ghats live in the reserve. The only primate which is not found here is the Hanuman Langur. This bonnet macaque, gorgeous on yummy jackfruit, who knows what the next meal shall consist of? Yes indeed, mummy's milk is always the best. One could spend hours watching the monkeys up to tricks. The bonnets have a field day with tourist vehicles. As you walk along the road to the boat landing, look up into the trees. Aha! There are some black monkeys up there with a ruff around their faces. They are the Nilgri Langur, found in Western Ghats and nowhere else in the world. They are very shy, but if you position yourself carefully, you could be privy to their life up in the trees. This predominantly vegetarian animal feeds on a variety of leaves, buds, flowers and fruits. What have we here? It is the brilliantly coloured Malabar giant squirrel. They are a perennial source of delight with their acrobatics and courtship games. The nocturnal slender loris is rarely seen. During the day, it hides in tree hollows or in leafy cover. Its movements are extremely slow. No matter where the mother moves, the young one clings on.
The mist-covered grasslands of Mangala Devi and Kumarikulam are home to elephants and bear. Besides these large mammals, this area is a treasure trove. Rare orchids, wild balsams, insectivorous drosera, and the Nilgiri tar, the highly endangered mountain goat of South India. The striped necked mongoose is the largest mongoose in Asia. Crabs and fish are hot favorites. However, on occasion it also preys on the mouse deer. The rich bird life includes diurnal and nocturnal bird species. More than 320 of the 525 bird species recorded in Kerala are found here. On the two-kilometer stroll from the park entrance to the boat landing, an astute bird watcher may catch glimpses of a large number of birds like the spotted dove, shikra, grey-headed canary flycatcher, yellow-billed babbler, white-bellied tree pie, Black rumped flameback, Rufus woodpecker, racket tailed drongo, chestnut tailed starling, hill miner, grey jungle fowl. Malabar whistling thrush, the colorful and handsome Malabar trogon, oriental scops owl, spot bellied eagle owl, mottled wood owl. If you are exceptionally lucky, you could even come across the rare Sri Lankan frogmouth or the peninsular bay owl. Slithering through the high elevation forest floor is this hump-nosed pit viper. Kings are a favorite food item. Young vipers have a remarkable ability to lure them by wriggling their white tail tips. Among other reptiles are the green wine snake, Malabar pit viper, 
large scale pit viper. Golden tree snake. The rare tree dragon or the Calotus grandisquimus. <laughs>